Hello and welcome everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make biltong. For those of you who don't know what biltong is, it's a South African snack of cured and dried flavoured meat. You can use top side, silver side, rump, fillet or any thick piece of meat to make biltong. To make this recipe, you will need Worcestershire sauce, malt vinegar, some black pepper, rock salt, coriander seeds and garlic powder. So the meat I'm going to use today is silver side beef. I've already cut all my slices. You want to cut the meat between one and one and a half centimeters. You can also trim off all the excess pieces of fat that you don't want on your meat. I've combined a brown mix with 60% malt vinegar and 40% Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to start by adding some brown mix to the bottom of the tray and then start layering the meat by putting the brown mix to each layer. Once we are finished, we leave the meat for two hours so the meat can draw the mixture up. The vinegar will help with preserving the meat. I'll be turning the meat every 30 minutes just to make sure that the brown mix covers all the meat. It has been two hours now and I think our meat is now nicely soaked in the brown mix. So I'm going to start pat drying all the meat with some paper towel and then we can start adding the spices. The spices there's a lot of different options out there like Freddy Ursus or Crown National but I made my own spices here today so for the spice mixture I used 10 grams of salt 25 grams of black pepper 30 grams of coriander and 15 grams of garlic powder so I'm just going to pour a bit in the bowl and then we're going to start covering all the meat with some of the spices You can be creative with your spice and make different variations of biltong with different spices that you like. Give it a mix through so all that spices can cover your meat. Now I'm going to cover the container and put the lid over and then we leave the biltong for one hour and then we can come back and hang our biltong. Our biltong is now ready to hang so I'm going to get my biltong maker. And we can start hanging the biltong. So I've got some biltong hooks here that I'm going to use to hook through the biltong and then hang it but you can use paper clips or some rope or anything that you can use to hang it in your Wilton maker. So I'm going to start by putting the hooks through all my pieces of meat here. When you hang the Wilton, make sure they don't touch so the air can flow nicely through the box. Guys, if you don't have a built-on box, I'll put a link into the description so you can uh, build your own built-on box. Hey 
as you can see they are all hanging now just look how nice they look guys I can't wait for them to be dry we're gonna close the lid now and then we're gonna wait three to four days and then we're gonna open it and try a piece hey guys it's been three days now my mouth is watering to try a piece of this built on so I've got myself an ice cold beer here and we're gonna slice a piece now and have a try of it <laughs> just delicious guys it's just the way I like it it's still a little bit wet on the inside so I think that's the best built on like that mm. thanks for watching this video if you like it please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family so I can bring you more content more often also please subscribe to my channel and check out the links in the description to my social media pages